What it is, what it do. It's your big homie Ray, the hood is wine connoisseur, and you know I'm straight up out that age, and you already know how we get down. It's Wine Review Wednesday, and today, I thought with all the turmoil going on in the city, in the states, in the, uh, the U.S., uh, I thought it would only be right, and the only thing that I could possibly drop on a Wednesday is a wine from a black-owned wine establishment. Uh, I had another wine review lined up, but I scrapped it because, you know, I went on the, the Instagram page and didn't see anything unifying the people. They were just promoting their brand. So I'll save that wine for another day. But today, today is about promoting black wine and making sure that we all support. And as always, if you like the content, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please like, share, comment on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm on all of those platforms as the the hood wine connoisseur and if you guys want to donate to help me continue to make good content for y'all or if y'all want to just be a part of the process of making this content you can hit the cash app you know what i'm saying bong bong right there you hit the cash app the venmo whatever you want to do the patreon is on its way i'm just you know what i'm saying waiting on a couple things to to get into place so we can get the patreon popping so we can have a wine community on go mode you feel me so without further ado Let's get on to it. So today we're doing a review on uh, one of the black owned establishments that I've come, came across that had a great story. And it's the McBride sisters. Some of you may know them. Some of you may not know them. Let me see if I can get the uh, camera in focus. There you go. And it's called Black Girls Magic. Red Blend. You know, I had to pick one of my favorite uh, blends and it's Red Blend. Uh, so... Just a little bit of the background of the McBride sisters. They're two sisters that didn't even know nothing about each other until 1999. They lived on two separate continents. One lived in California and one lived in uh, New Zealand. And what the most crazy part about it is they both had a passion for wine and they both grew up in wine making industries. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? They just happened to find each other in 1999 and created the, one of the largest black owned wineries uh vineyards known to man right now so let's go ahead and clap it up for them McBride sisters, and let's go ahead and get into this wine uh so as you can see this is beautiful let me see this is a beautiful bottle uh this is from the mcbride sisters collections i'll link them down below so you can go check the check that page out it's a dope page dope wine uh so it's black girl magic red wine california vintage 2016 this was, I think it was 20 bucks uh, at Total Wine. And Total Wine was the only place that sold it. I tried my best to look for other black wines to review, and it was super hard. Most of them were selling online. So I'll link also below, and I'll probably do a video or two on some other black-owned wine uh, you know, people so you guys can have a little understanding of that too. So uh, the McBride Sisters Black Girl uh, Magic Red Wine, California 2016. Black girl magic is a term we use often, but what is it? What does it look like? Sound, feel, and taste like? Maybe it doesn't mean uh, celestial perfection. Better yet, it signifies the magic within us that allows us to preserve, to create, and to slay. With the best and with so much finesse. Our red, our red blend has unique flavors of cherry, dark berries, and mocha with aromatic notes of cranberry and cocoa powder. I ain't never, never cocoa powder. Is that like the next quick? The next, I used to love that next quick. Y'all tell me in the comments below if y'all used to fool with that next quick um, uh, chocolate milk drink shake. I, the strawberry one and the chocolate one, boy, I used to kill them thing, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, so that's it on the back. Absolute black girl magic. That's dope. I really fool with it. It's a 13.5% wine. And it comes from California. Uh, so let's get this thing opened and see what it's talking about. All right. Now let me open this up the professional way like I'm supposed to do it. Cutting the god daggone thing. I hate cutting this thing, though. I really just want to pop that bad boy open, but the nettles will make it taste funny. I really don't care nothing about that, but it is what it is. Because getting that part open be hell. All right, so that bad boy is open. Sorry for my little spiel. Let's get this open real quick. Don't want to keep y'all too long. 
I hope everybody is safe during the, uh, during this time. Uh, make sure that y'all make it home safe at night. If y'all out there rioting, uh, I'm excuse me, I'm sorry, not rioting. If y'all out there protesting, uh, be careful of the riots is what I meant. Don't uh, get home safe. That's the name of the game. So you can live the fight another day because this is going to be a continual fight. So to everybody that's out there, that's a cheers to y'all. So let's get this poured up. You can smell that thing right out the bottle. Just a little bit of pour. Don't want to do too much. And you know what we do. We swirl that thing. We sniff that thing. Boy, that's boy. Boy, that's bold flavor that they got up in there. Oh, they tripping. Yeah, man, this smells absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that just because it's my black people. But this actually smells amazing. It smells like, let me see what they said it's supposed to smell like. Aromatic notes of cranberry. Yeah, it smells like, it smells like a chocolate covered cranberry. Mm -hmm. If a chocolate covered cranberry, if you can imagine what a chocolate covered cranberry smells like, that's what it smells like. That's exactly it. Wow, that's beautiful. It smells like flowers too. Wow, that's crazy. All right, twirl it up. I ain't never seen somebody twirl the wine like this before. Hold on, let me see. Wow. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know off top. The, the first thing that hit my hit my tongue is the uh the tannin. So like I told y'all, tannin is when you feel like somebody take a napkin and drying out your mouth, trying to take make your tongue feel like sandpaper. That the tannin go, boy, this thing will go good with a steak, boy. That tannin really cut strong. And then after you get that tannin taste, mm, you get real strong. Boy, it tastes like cranberry, boy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. So it's light. It's kind of got like a sweetness to it. So I'm guessing that's where the, the cocoa and all the chocolate come from that they describe. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's super easy to drink. It's acidic. It So it kind of make you want to per pucker up in the back of your throat. Mm, that's good. Wow. It's light. It's got a lot of tannin. Uh, it's, a, it's probably like a, it's a medium body to me. So when I say medium body, that means that you know, for me, how I best understand medium body is like how close is it to water or how close is it to like syrup or something like that. So to me, this is like right in the middle. It's not too strong. It's not too heavy. It's, you know what I'm saying? It glides right off across your tongue. I really like this wine. Uh, McBride Sisters, just, I mean, I have to try some of the other ones. Actually, let me look on their page because they do have some other wines and they have canned wine that I'm going to try. Okay, so our collections are wines. So, of course, they have, oh, they got a bundle. Oh, they got bundles. Oh, they wildin'. So they got bundles right now. For They got four wines for 67 Oh, snap. Hold on. Okay, so they have a sparkling brute rosé. They have a Chardonnay. They have a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. They got the red blend, which I have right now. They have a California Riesling, which I want to try. The uh, And then they have a California rosé. And they have another page. Let's see what's on the other page. And then the red blend, which one I which I have right now. Oh, they got two red blends. They have a Central Coast red blend, and they have a, just a regular California red blend. It's 2016 vintage, and uh, no, they both 2016. So they pick. They've only picked twice that I can see. So they have some 2018. They have a 2019, 2016. That's dope, man. Um, yeah, like I said, y'all go out and support these ladies. It's some, it's a couple of other uh, wineries that I want to support too. But mm, for the price, this is a really nice wine. Now this is twenty four dollars on their page. It was twenty four. I don't know which one I. Had. Yeah, I have the one that was twenty four. So this is twenty four dollars if you order it online. I think it was like twenty some dollars that total wine. But um, yeah, if y'all want to support, go ahead and support. What I would do with this wine, this this doesn't taste like a wine that you just drink by itself. Um, because it's, it has a lot of characteristic to it. It's got, got a lot going on. Um, so this is one that I definitely recommend drinking while you're having your steak tacos, your steak, your, your beef, whatever, anything with a strong steak would be good with this, um, or beef would be good with this. So, uh, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 cause it's black girl magic and I taste it. You know what I'm saying? It, it feels good when I drink it. Um, boy. Wow, that's really good. I was, you know, I was expecting it to be good just because, you know what I'm saying, we make everything good. But this is McBride since y'all did y'all thing. So, I'm going to cut off the video right there. But appreciate y'all for, for tuning in again. This is just another wine for you guys to try. 
Uh, you've already seen my video on, you know, your wine tutorial, your wine on ones. Uh, and then I'll be dropping vlogs. So y'all be getting a lot of wine content. And what I'm really trying to do, y'all, is just provide y'all with an assortment of wines that I've tried that you guys don't have to waste your money on. So if I like it, I'm sure you will. And continue coming to the page and, you know what I'm saying, learn a little something. So this has been your big homie Ray, the hood wine connoisseur. And check me out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And I'm out. Peace.